Well, I do. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, at, at Christmas, you like to hear certain stories and songs. Like, you know, you put on your your Christmas carols, and you know, I listen to, like, the Santa Land Diaries, and I watch Elf. You know, I have all my little traditions. And I feel like listening to this once is going to be a great tradition in my life. Like, it's a story that I'm going to want to hear. You know, it's like, it's a leaky con story where staff reads from her journal. <laughs> Now I sit down and hear the story. So, okay. in, in Christmas, um, wow. this is this is a little bit magic. Um, so Stephanie Perkins, author of so many wonderful things, uh, such as um, okay, and then the French Kiss. <laughs> okay, there too. Uh, and the boy next door, and also your upcoming um, high school slasher story, which I am dying to read. <laughs> Over our love, we went on tour together in California, and we just talked about the Mansons the whole time. <laughs> What's your favorite fact about the Mansons? <laughs> so it was good. It was really good. It was creepy. Um, but uh, Steph, I will let her um, introduce this wonderful piece that she's going to read. But this is truly special. Steph's journals. Thank you. That's um, very very kind of you, Marie. Uh, when I was um, Okay, those of you who are familiar with my books and those of you who aren't, I write stories about true love and the girls, uh, their first person, present tense, and the girls tend to be a little obsessive. And there's a really good reason for that. <laughs> when I was in high school, I met my true love and I became really obsessive. <laughs> And thankfully, um, I had never kept a journal or diary before, but I was taking a creative writing class, and um, every morning when we got to school, um, we would have to write in it for the first five minutes. So all the entries are pretty short, but because of that, my senior year, I have documentation of my obsession. Uh, here's my notebook, lovely standard composition um, on it. I have written my nicknames, Goofy, Daisy, Sprinkles, and Space Girl. The last one I think is still the most appropriate. And then inside, um, I have these really lovely collages of the Beastie Boy. <laughs> and MCA is my favorite. Rest in peace. That was very sad. And then, of course, um, I wrote in rainbow. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to read for you is, are some excerpts. Um, there's actually much more where this comes from, but I'll spare you. Um, in, the, in November of my senior year, um, sometimes when I read these, I, I do it as kind of a surprise, but because a lot of you know me or and specifically know my husband, um, there's really no surprise here. Um, the Jared in the story is my husband, is the man that I married. And I met him on November 19th, 1999. <laughs> T <laughs> so this random boy emailed me yesterday afternoon. He said he had read across my profile on Yahoo and he felt as if he had found his soulmate. He gave me his he gave his profile to look up, and you know what? He was actually cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I didn't mean to leave it at that he was just cute. He's really sweet and smart, too. He's emailed me like a million times already. <laughs> and last night I talked to him in a chat room for a few hours. I am so happy. I don't care that he's an internet boyfriend. <laughs> it makes him no less real to me. <laughs> I talked to Jared again last night. He's the computer boy, of course. So perfect. He scanned more pictures of himself for me. <laughs> I am such a girl. <laughs> Late November. What a fantastic weekend. Sigh. <laughs> I talked to Jared on the phone for the first time last night. He had the cutest little southern accent. I thought I'd be nervous, but I wasn't at all. And we talked for two and a half hours. Smiley face. 
Next entry. I feel icky. I need sleep. I told my boy I couldn't talk to him at night because I have to go to bed. Big sad face. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Tuesdays, but by God, I always feel so awful. Today I'm getting myself upset over Jerry because he lives so far away. Next entry. <laughs> I'm not feeling quite so bad about Jerry today. <laughs> I was upset yesterday because I was paranoid about him suddenly disappearing or something, but I woke up today and I had five emails from him. <laughs> so I'm really not too concerned right now. <laughs> and then we go on winter break, so skipping ahead to January 4th, the year 2000. <laughs> Sad face. <laughs> Jared called my work yesterday to tell me he loved me and just to say hello. But for some reason, my coworker who answered the phone said I wasn't there. And I totally was. <laughs> oh, that is so unfair. <laughs> Next entry. <laughs> I spent pretty much all of yesterday cutting words out of magazines and making them into little phrases and poetry for Jared. <laughs> It really took me all day to make. <laughs> Next entry. Our phone calls have pro progressed into three and four hour calls and huge phone bills. But it's worth it, of course. Sweet <laughs> case. Next entry. Sorry, <laughs> I'm talking to Jared tonight on the phone for the first time of a week. Our phone bills were getting so huge that we had to cut it back to only one call a week. <laughs> I had a car accident yesterday. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> this one wasn't so bad. I got to talk to Jared last night for a long time. <laughs> so that was really great. <laughs> Now I have to wait another week to hear from him again. Oh. <laughs> Next entry. <laughs> My mind isn't functioning yet. I had three days in a row off from work at the bookstore, but really, it wasn't enough at all. I'm going back to work yesterday. It was so hard. I felt like a weenie when I told Jared that. He'd been at his work for two days. For real. He had to sleep there and everything. He works at a television station, and because of the blizzards in Georgia, he has to stay at work all weekend. I would die if I had to stay at work all weekend. <laughs> Next entry. Time is so weird. On one hand, April slash Jared's visit seems so close, and time has really flown since I met him, and so April will be here before I know it. But on the other hand, during those times when I'm at work or school, time goes by so slowly. And it feels like April will never come. Next entry. Yay! It's February. One month closer to April. Smiley face. Next entry. So I've been whining about it a lot lately, but Screw it, I don't care. I'm gonna whine a little bit longer because it's the only thing on my mind. April is so far away. Oops, out of time. Guess you don't have to listen to me whine. Next entry. I feel sick and my parents won't call me out this morning. I hate being the only 18 year old whose parents won't emancipate. But, my parents just don't want to lose that extra control over me. I think the birth control pills are making me sick. The birth control pills my mother is making me take, even though my boyfriend lives in Georgia. <laughs> Next century. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one, but wow, kilts are such a turn on. <laughs> Red flag ones. <laughs> I'm so excited. Jared said he'd wear one of the prom. Yeah! 